And my, uh, of course, I just have one eye, but uh, my eyesight and the one eye went from 2025 to 2020. 
was astonished. What? Yes, yeah, pretty what? Wow, 2020? That's fake. So I can see a lot better now. Wow, that's incredible. I should say. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. That's great. You feel good, though? Yeah, I feel pretty good. You feel better. Well, I think I've stirred up some uh, some resistance somehow. Yeah, stirred, I've stirred up some trouble. Well, I got bit by a dog. I got, uh, <laughs> you know, some other things happened to me and stuff. You know, I think I've uh, stirred up some. Uh, I know what somebody was saying this year. I have a mantra ten times a day. Yeah. Well, at least, yeah. Yeah. Well, memory from memory, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hey well, guys, so yeah, this guy can recite it from memory. You think you're a spirit cultivator, think again. <laughs> Are you saying that every day? Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Not bad. The uh, thing about cultivation is, is, uh, is not to get. Uh, not to react. Right. See, you're reacting. So what do you mean? Huh? How am I reacting? You, 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 you said I think you're starting to trouble. bad or you think it's good. I don't you, mind. You just do it. Yeah. Just, just do right. it. Don't, don't, you know, it's just part of life, all those, those things. Sometimes well, I'm, nice I'm, I'm mentioning it. Nice. I mean, I noticed it. Yeah. But I'm not, like, sitting around worrying about it. Yeah, that's good. But the, the, the thing, the thing is, is that uh, is that you progress very quickly, in a very short time span. That's not bad. It's amazing your vision is true, just like that. I hope mine is like that. I don't need to wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> See, you gotta tell me how 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 you did it. I never miss out. I say the mantra I'm about two hundred times a day. So medicine master mantra. Two hundred times? Yeah, that's not that. You don't even bother counting the beats I'm getting it? I count them, but I, t- I count them once to make sure I did it. <laughs> right, and then I just do it throughout the day. How do you know it's two hundred? Well, because it must be at least two hundred, because I do it all day long. Oh, uh, it take you five minutes? <laughs> to do it a hundred times? Yeah. It takes me like twenty minutes. It's slow. Slow? Should do it faster? <laughs> no, no. Never mind. It's all right. Are we online? I mean, is that okay to get out? Or are we, are no, people? No, or nobody calls me. You will disappear. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, We're talking about the, the medicine now, mantra. Yeah, yeah. The 108? Yeah. It takes me about 20 minutes. 20 minutes for 108. How, how many seconds is that? It takes me half an hour. It takes me about 40 minutes. 40 yeah. minutes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 30 to 40 minutes. It all depends how much. Yeah. Don't worry about speed. <laughs> speed is never important. When I was, I was doing it at Long Beach Monastery, it took me about uh, six seconds to do one. That's how fast I was. To do one? Think about it. Just relax. That's it. So, so when I was doing beats, it was, it was going like speed of light. It was still too slow. So I stopped using beats because then. Oh, I'm going to count slow. Counting slows me down. But but that was because back then I was misguided. I was I thought I, I, I went for speed because no one else could. I was the fastest guy. Very, very fast. And uh, that was that was wrong. It's not about speed, it's about concentration. After after a long time I realized that like, you can't understand the really concentration is not speed. Speed is only an expedient for you to concentrate. There's never an end goal. Okay, so you can concentrate on, this, on one single word at a time. Doesn't matter how slow, fast you go, doesn't matter. You just concentrate on it. No, 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 Okay. So concentrate. All right. So that's good. That's good. So you get some responses from from uh, from, uh, from uh, must be the medicine master mantra. Man. It must be. Because what else could it be? Because you you did it 
with the, this Rama Mantra before, right? Yeah, I've been doing that longer. Yeah, so now he certainly picked up the medicine master mantra. See, another another success story. It, it, it. <laughs> I told you, the mantra is beautiful. It's just, well, I'm just surprised why people don't practice it anymore. People don't. I said, I'm amazed. But I wouldn't want to take the chance, though, of just, just leaving my, everything else and just do that for the rest of my life. Just... <laughs> There's too much more. So much more to life. And really. There's so much more and to America. this in my life. Why do you bring it up? Pardon? Is someone trying to talk you into giving up all the good things in life? Or, well, for what? I, I think that's where I'm leading. I, I do. There's Why? Things I, I'm, I've never been... You. I've never been so unhappy in my life. Your wisdom is unfolding. You can begin to see the suffering. Do you understand? No. Well, eventually you will. It's um, you you uh, you are at the stage right now. Okay. Since there's no one online, I can reveal to you. She's second stage R. She's first stage R. Okay. You. It may appear like you don't know what you're doing, you know, and we confuse you know, most of the time. <laughs> okay. You know how big of a deal it is. Second stage R ah, is huge, huge deal. Okay, first stage R ah, is a huge, huge deal. For that, you begin to see the light, which others can. Okay. It doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense because because you've been confused all your life. You you your priorities have been misguided. Now you begin, you begin to see it doesn't make sense. Yet. It it's uh, it's um, that's wisdom. Begin to see the truth. All this is false. We are so attached. Common people are so attached to the false. When you may just say, wait a minute, I, I, I can't get attacked from this. This is not as important as it used to be for me. Am I correct or not? Absolutely. Okay. So, that's wisdom. You have a choice though. You see, in your work, you still have a choice. You say, well, I still can go, I can still straddle, I can see, I can go this way, I can go choose to be in one side and choose to be the other side. Before you choose to be in the worldly side. That's because that's the only world you know. Because that's, the only, that's your world. Now you have a chance to be exposed to something else. It's called the beginning of transcendental wisdom. Okay? So your attainment is huge, it's humongous. And and for that, you're able, you're able to, to begin to see the false. Until you, you see the false folk, you can't let go. You can't let go. Because everything is so real to you. Because that's what you can see, that's what you can feel. This is what you can experience. Okay? This is how your world is construed, is constructed. That's why in Hinayana, once you reach the first stage of art, it's such a huge view, you become a sage. They, call, they don't call them a sage for nothing. So, you're beginning to, to see, you see glimpses, and you, see, you, you begin to struggle. The struggle now has become real, okay? And it's an adjustment process. It takes time. Okay? So, nothing to worry about as far as you're growing things. You begin to see that you used to be so confused. You used to be so misguided. You used to be so... And you asked me, okay, what's so great about it? 
<laughs> the rest of them, they don't know what they don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> so, so, so you have you have to feel for them. Oh my God, they have no clues. That's how important it is. So, the time, the effort you put in so far has been worth it. You begin to see. Okay. And the way that you guys did it is just so fast. Master Shane Hua, I listened I, I, I listen to his teachings. I, I, I realized that his level disciples would become uh, second or third stage uh, after leaving the home life with him after two or three years. I thought, wow, this is so fast. This is, you know, because these are sages. You know, in my younger perspective, I look at it, we look at it as pretty small, but really, for, for, to, to get, to step on that side, the other side, is an incredible feat, folks. It takes so something that you did not experience before. You know what it is? You know what it is? You know what it is, uh, Randy? It's not anywhere in, 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 the, in the teachings. It's not anywhere. Understanding. Huh? It's not understanding. It's not It is. She didn't have that. She came with a different, different agenda. Didn't you? Okay? And that's normal. That's how all people are. You all come to me with different agendas. You all of you. <laughs> okay? And just okay. don't make a mistake of thinking you can, you can. Outsmart. Someone who tries to learn from. <laughs> you know, you can outsmart me all the time. It doesn't matter. What matters most is your birth and death from. And you can't outsmart them. Okay? You can't, can't outsmart death. You can't outsmart impermanence. You can't outsmart your obstructions. They are not called obstructions for nothing because you cannot outsmart them. Okay? So, so, you did some really, really serious right things. That is, initially, even for the wrong motives. But those paid off for you. Those right moves paid off for you. If you didn't make those right moves, you would not have a chance to come back. Think about it. You didn't plan to come back. Okay? So you have somehow the blessings came through, the, those seeds matured, and you came back. That's how you made the progress. Because I was, I was giving up on, I gave up, gave up on, I said, you know, this is it. That's all she can got out of, of this body. Mm-hmm. Because that's all she came for. You got it. What else you want? Right? But I planted the seed for more than that in you. Okay? But couldn't tell you. It's amazing how, how, how things work out. So you should be you should be overjoyed actually. You should you should be so emotional. Because because that's the first steps towards letting go. Because it gets better. It gets so much more better, so much interesting. Because because once you can let go and, and the bliss from being able to let go is incredible. Okay. By the way, you got you made it to second year. Big deal. You came here. You came here. This is a big deal. Because most people get stuck a long, long time. Um, came here first first year already. With, uh, with the very short time so you made it the second year, which is pretty fast. And, and, um, you somehow, faith is not a problem with you, which is fascinating. 
So it has to be from prior, prior cultivation. Because no one ever taught it. Right? You just read a lot of books. You read. That's it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so what? They can, so Sudhita Randy. You know, he read a lot too. He read about 20 years. For 20 years. Everything is in all his books. He right. came to zero. You know that? Right. He came to zero. Two, two and a half years ago. Anyway, so it's, it's interesting. Cultivation. You never know. You just keep going. You keep going and, and uh, whenever those mature, they mature. You don't worry about it. You can't, you can't worry about it. Just because I spent time explaining to you about, you know, blessings and so on, and so you, you, you shouldn't be sitting there, where do I have to prison? Oh, I can pull blessings. No. <laughs> it's only meant for you to understand. Once you make past it, I can look back and say, you know, how you got there because of your blessings. But you can't say, let me get that kind of blessing to make sure next time I do it, it happens again. It's false thinking. If that's the case, I wouldn't bother explaining to you. Okay. So, so it, it's um, it's uh, it's amazing because because uh, text because this year here I was planning on translating this medicine master uh, dharma to the Vietnamese. So I I was going to most of the other location and uh, to to to. to to explain it, there's a sutra. And this was explained last year already, here, in English. So I figure as long as some Vietnamese come in, I, I wouldn't mind explaining again Vietnamese and, and elaborate a bit more than last year, because their level higher than last year. Uh, but it turns out that, uh, it turns out we may be coming to an end with the Vietnamese very soon, because, because they, they're not responding. I'm not, I'm not reaching them. Okay. So, uh, so it's amazing that somehow you, you got there and, and you got from, you got uh, a little bit of response from the Dharma itself. Okay. Um, which is, which is remarkable. So, it made all, it, all of it worthwhile to us because, um, because the Dharma is meant to help someone. To help people, and uh, and uh, actually, as long as we hear, I I want to ask for your opinion uh, because I don't know. Shall we continue with the sutra, or you want me to switch sutras, or you want what? What's your interest? It depends on what sutra you'd be switching to. Okay. Maybe switching to the Vedam Saka Sutra. Why? You well, want that? Well, it's just so interesting. You know, yeah. You know, um, I don't, how, how can you know, I tell what sutra is better than another sutra? I don't know. Uh, yeah. but, um, so, um, I mean, just so we have been calling you know, those, uh, um, those radio and, uh, and they have been calling back and and ask from uh, what we they say that maybe starting next week if they have if they find some empty slot they mm. will but it's not guaranteed mm. so we we call several radios and we, uh, and we call several newspapers so what we do is I think we stick for a few more weeks right that's that's what I'm saying is maybe give because it, uh, we, yeah give it some time okay but but uh, but. My point is that if yeah. we get no response, then we, we switch to chess or we do something else because it's, you know, because, because I, yeah, if you want to know about the sutra here, it's recorded. Okay? Mm -hmm. How do you think? What's your thinking? Huh? So, uh, so, he, uh, let's say if we switch it one month, then we have maybe a little of two, three months to cover the new sutra. We keep going, yeah, because we, we can't be bound by by the time because uh, we start at the end of September. I go to my retreat and then and then uh, we start again next year. Okay. So, uh, master, I only want to say one thing about if you do keep doing medicine, master. No matter what we get, whatever you do, 
you expound more on everything. So if you did that all the rest till September, yeah. it still is more yeah, because the way you present it, you present yeah. it different every time. Yeah, it, it, uh, it no, that's, that's right. right. And that's the way that's I right. feel like if everybody else wants to move on, that's fine, but I just think whatever you do with it is but, fine. Uh, but you haven't heard the option yet. I know, but you'll give me options, more <laughs> options next year. See, so I suggested the, the flower dormant sutra. Uh, I'm not going to explain it again. It's too premature. I'm not sure I know it's sutra. I know, uh, still premature. I'm not ready. Personally, I'm not ready for that sutra yet. I need, need a few more years. Sure. Yeah, because I, 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 want, sure. I want to, to see some. Sure, and do a few more things before I explain that because it's very important to try. I need to explain that. But I'm not ready. No. About the Vajra? Vajra is a good choice. Vajra is probably my choice for the next sutra. I've been preparing for that until that sidetrack by all these things. Vajra's new sutra is very important. It's been awesome. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Because I, I was planning on explaining the Vajra Sutra, which explains about emptiness. What's the Vajra Sutra in Chinese? Jingan. It's one of the most popular sutras in Narayana. It's widely studied and copied by the experts as well, because we steal mm-hmm. those concepts from that sutra. For example, the externalist concept of emptiness, it's a subset of the Vajra's teaching. That's why they all come back to it and, and, and refer to it. See, if they want to understand, if you want to understand emptiness, you have to investigate the Vajra Sutra. So it's a very important Sutra. Okay, so I, I was planning on, on explaining that after, you know, after we done all these Sutras. That's the next Sutra. So, oh. How long does that take for that sutra? Uh, how long does it take? I don't know. Probably not as long as the Earth Store Sutra. Because Earth Store Sutra, we go into more details than I was planning. Because, uh, because it's, uh, those unique details are important. Because it hadn't been explained yet in English. So I, I want to make sure we what we try to do here is we try to uh, add, make more Mahayana texts available to the English population. Okay. Because so far, as far as I know, only three people lecture at Mahayana Sutras. Master Shri Nwar, Ben Go Hanushur, and myself. The <laughs> Hamshu is not explaining the uh, the regular sutras, he's explaining newer sutras. Okay. So what I try to do is present the the, the, the mainstream Mahayana text from different perspectives so that we add into the knowledge, the English knowledge database. Okay. The unfortunate thing is that is that it's not, it's only in MP3 format, it's not available in, in text format. Because text is very time consuming, right Janice? Yes. It just, just like takes forever to transcribe it. And somehow, sometime down the future, we need to transcribe it because most people would prefer the text format than MP3. So, but at least right now, my, 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 my focus is on explaining sutras, because that's what I do. I, I, I don't want to invest time in transcribing that kind of thing, because that's not what I'm supposed to do. My time should be is, is better spent on investing, on adding to the knowledge base in my in English. Okay. It will be more productive in my time. Because right now, uh, Master Shane Hua has, uh, has uh, left a, a, a huge, good chunk of, of the knowledge, and, and I'm hoping to add more to it. Okay, I'm surprised that his disciples have not, his, uh, his Hung disciples have not 
lecturing on these sutras because they contain very important principles. And they're important because when you, you talk about Vasha Sutra, for example, or mm-hmm. the Earth Flow Sutra, mm-hmm. Medicine Vasa Sutra, everyone recognizes it. Whereas, uh, I'm sure it's explained uh, like the Jin Guang uh, uh, Sutra, which is a uh, golden light sutra right now, it's not as, it's not as well known. Okay? So he's adding more stuff, but um, you know, it's not the mainstream text of my, uh, By the way, you have to let go. It's a passive thing. Don't go off. Okay? It's going to come back. It's called the demon- demonic state, by the way. It's the devil, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> you guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> It, it's a passing thing. Do not, do not let it distract you. It's just like when you when you live, you get up in the morning, you go through, you know, you can hear some bad news, you can hear some good news. It, it pass. Give me some good news. <laughs> See, that's the attachment. You have to, you have, that's it's supposed to point out to you. Either way, it just even feel. Okay, it blows over. Okay? If you don't pay attention, you can get into big trouble. Don't pay me, you just because... Uh, well, that's got my attention. Yeah. Because, just because, because uh, you're there doesn't mean you won't get in trouble. You get different kinds of trouble, bigger trouble than normal people. You're <laughs> <laughs> so bad, man. <laughs> but you see, that this, this is important. You have to be open about it, honest about it. Okay? You keep it to yourself. It's your problem, not mine. <laughs> okay? So that's why in my yana we try to be pretty open about everything. That's a step high. That's a big deal. I was telling someone when you keep it to yourself, your problem. You throw it out of the assembly, that's the assembly's problem. It's hard to talk about something you don't know what's happening. Just reveal it. That's why you did. Okay. Anyway, uh, Pastor, is it okay we finish this sutra? Because I'd like to get to the end since we already started the matter somewhere. Sure, I'd like to finish it. Yeah. It's easier for me. I have more time to, to, to do the rest of it. Okay, sure. That's one option. And, and for me, last year, I mean, if you, I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> I got a lot more this year. Too. Last year, I was just... Each year, we learn more and more. So, okay. So, apparently, okay. So, after this, I do the Vajra Sutra. How is that? Cool. Is it okay with you, Danny, or...? Oh, yeah. If you've got a lot of time in your hands, we could always have another day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I about that. That is slave driving. <laughs> Randy does have Monday and Tuesdays off. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anyway, so we, we okay, we, we, can, we can do this, we can finish it, and then, but uh, in terms of going to Bosa, we can go there for one another month or so, and then after that, we can come back here, because, because if they're not coming, I'm not going to throw my money away. Because, this, you know, we do it just fine here, right? Yes. Yes. So, so we so no we're going to, to, go, to go there, and you guys get all worked up, and then. <laughs> so we're going there in June, in other words. Huh? We're going there in June, because next week is the last of May. Yeah. Yeah, we. She go there next week, and then and then yeah. one yeah. week, yeah. And see what happens, and then because uh, because. Um, it actually works out better that way because then it doesn't appear like we get pissed off and walk away from it because the way they treated us last, last week. So, it works out better. 
it helps them. Or if, if, if you're going to spend a few hundred dollars to help them you not get confused, it's worth it. Ah. <laughs> Serious. You're facing all these ones anyway. Okay, so, uh, can we continue with the secret lecture? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, so we keep, we keep going, right? Yes. Okay. Right. Right. As you wish. Uh, we on slide fifty three. No one online, right? So who cares? <laughs> but it's recorded anyway. Um, karmic hindrances. Okay. Uh, you can approach karmic hindrances in different ways. The way that we approach it uh, in this sutra is we we point out to you that the good things to you, like somebody requested good things to happen, actually they, they are karmic hindrances. The good news actually karmic hindrances. Because because uh, they come, uh, the, the blessings karma the evil karma and moving karma. Basically, blessings karma is is the seeds for you to enjoy blessings in the desire realm. Desire realm is is uh, is, is uh, our realm right now, right? And then the evil karma is uh, the evil karma is. For it cause you to fall. Okay, those are the hindrances. And the unmoving karma is for you to be born in the upper two realm of the triple realm. So, in, in other words, what people consider to be blessings are actually your hindrances. Hmm. Why is that? Because you get it take up all your time and attention. Yeah. There's no need to cultivate your enjoyable mm-hmm. subject. You know? You're having so much fun. If you don't have it's any problems, working. Yeah. You, you don't, don't change problems. success, folks. Yeah. You do not change success. That's why my daughter got all upset when she heard how much, one of my daughters, when she heard how much I was meditating. She's mom. She's in her 50s. She went nuts about it. I didn't say anything. I just left it. <laughs> So, so that's that's important for you to realize that that you should not be attached to good things. You should not be demanding that good things and only good things happen. Okay? We don't want are hindrances to your cultivation. They detract you from cultivation. Mm-hmm. They distract you from cultivation. Hmm. <laughs> That's exactly what I do. Hmm. Okay. Now, um, the medicine ma- ma- master Buddha Dharma is supposed to help you eradicate your hindrances and then benefit, give you benefit and bliss. So that's why the Dharma is important because because it helps. Eradicate obstructions, our obstructions, okay, and make us feel good, make good things happen. But in a way that if you are executed right, that does not make you attached. Why is that? Because for some people it's important for them to, to have good things. They demand that good things happen to them. But for, for more advanced people, good things happen because they naturally occur as a result of cultivation, not because they seek. There's a difference. When you seek to get good things to happen to yourself, you're being petty. You're not cultivating. It's when you don't seek good things that happen to you and they happen, that's when the bliss is incredible. Okay? So, what kind of bliss are we talking about? Causal bliss, number one. We are slide 54. 
Meaning that when you do good, then good things happen to you. You have blessings that you can enjoy. When you when you do good, when you help others, okay, so that they get the benefit from your action, from your help, then you're creating blessings for you to enjoy those blessings, those type of blessings in the future, manifold. Alright? So that's cause of bliss. Feeling bliss. Okay. Now cause of bliss is is what common people shoot for. They go and they cultivate like text and cultivate because he wants to have bliss down the road. Right? At least get rid of his obstruction and have more bliss in your life. And that's worldly pursuits. Now if you go and transcend worldly pursuits, then you go into something called feeling bliss. Okay? Where, where, where it, it's, uh, it's, um, it's, uh, uh, stability, it's uh, maturity, okay? And your mind becomes peaceful, stable. I mean, you you have uh, you have uh, you have uh, less ups and downs. Okay. The third kind of thing, which is which is very very good, is you end the feeling kind of bliss. You see, the feeling bliss is that is that we live, we we all living beings are attached to feeling good, hard work. Be very attached to it. Okay. If you can detach from that, then you can end the feeling standard. Okay? And that's when the bliss this is incredible. This is a state of what? First stage. You can detach. When you can detach, that's when you miss this harm, this world. It's nothing that you experienced before. This from detachment, not from having, but from letting go. Being able to let go, which you could not before. Before you could not let go of that attachment to feeling good folks. You cannot let go. No matter how you can reason, you can argue. And no matter how many how many reasons I can give you, you say oh, it's not that great. You know, we have this, we have that, we have these consequences. But but that's only the intellectual. Once you can get let go of that attachment, that's what this is incredible. And that's only the healing conversations can can experience. Okay? Last year I explained it, I didn't go into this kind of detail, so and number four is severance bliss. Okay. Okay. What is severance bliss? That is, that is the state of Mahayana sages. See, this this is why this is why the Hinayana arhats they they that's that's what they they, they listen. The bliss experience from their samadhi power is so incredible. Okay, like they never could experience before. And it gets better. You go from one first stage out, second stage out, first stage out, and first stage out is very difficult to reach. When you get to fourth stage out, it's even more difficult. But the bliss is incredible. Okay, but that all that combined is nothing compared to the severed bliss. Okay? Aha 
lots of you have afflictions. Yeah, lots of afflictions. More than they can imagine. Okay, so that's why you have to continue to work hard. And, uh, and, uh, also there's a bliss called severance bliss, and finally there's Bodhi bliss of, uh, the Buddhas. Okay? Any questions? Severance bliss, is that, uh, the stage of a Bodhisattva? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 honey. The aha, this is nothing. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's no big deal. That's why they're looking at you guys. Why are you guys are worked up about what? This is it. <laughs> and then we, the aha, look at the the, the mortal say, Oh, you guys are so. <laughs> You're so bad, man. <laughs> Questions? Okay. Uh, see the text 55, slide 55. The Buddha then prays the pure youth Manjushri. Good indeed, good indeed, Manjushri. Out of great compassion, you should now request that I speak about the Buddha's names and merit and virtues of their past vows. For the sake of rescue or sensing beings who are bounded by karmic obstacles and for bringing benefit, peace, and should be bliss. To those who live in the Dharma image age, listen as attentively and reflect most diligently, for I will now answer you. Manjushri said, please do speak, we are glad to listen. Okay, the uh, the uh, English text is wrong here. Uh, should be joy here. Should be change. I'm on slide 55. Should change joy to bliss because that's the uh, the more accurate term. Uh, we we making small changes here and there to to better reflect to make it more accurate. Uh, for example, the Chinese text uh, from Master Shuihua. For some reason, the nuns or the people who did the Chinese text, they have horrible typos. They made a lot of typos, and they have a lot of missing texts as well. Especially in the uh, Earth Store Sutra, I found so many missing texts. And of course, uh, Danny helped me catch a few of the typos as well. But for example, this week I caught some, some missing texts big time. So, uh, and then they have typos. They have quite a few typos in this week's section, about three or four, which is uh, uh, which is uh, which is bad because they should have done a better job. The Chinese master trainer has that Chinese disciple did not do a good job transcribing. Okay, it's it's, it's it's not right. So I'm going to skip the Vietnamese and save time. Okay, Please. there's no Vietnamese here. <laughs> Maybe we'll do French next time. Okay, uh, we are slide 58. Uh, uh, um, the sutra mentioned Manjushri as a pure youth. Pure youth uh, in Mahayana, usually between 7 and 15 years of age, they're more yang dominant. Okay, the inner light is still brilliant, and there are few afflictions. The important thing here is that they are not defiled by the environment yet. Okay, they don't discriminate that much yet. See, we go to school, we learn to discriminate that's and true. analyze. Okay, that's where it goes downhill for us. I love you. Be able, be able to make a living, mm. be able to fit in society, but we're losing our wisdom. So cultivation reverses that process. Okay. The thing about pure youth is that basically what, what does it mean, pure youth? No sex. 
Okay? Why is it? And this is where the unpopular part of the sutra lectures, all my lectures, of my, of my, of my, of my dharma talks is that sex is a bad one. Very bad one. It kills you. It kills you. Anytime you have sex, you're closer to death. That's why these guys, when they pull kill you, that mean they do not have those types of outflows. Therefore, when they cultivate, they have, they're working hard up here, accruing things, blessings, they're not losing blessings down here in terms of outflows and leakages. Therefore, they have to keep most of everything to cultivate. You know that? That's why the dear youth in Mahayana they progress very, very quickly. That's why a special guy like Jack Chang says, I'm not going to get married, that kind of thing. No, that's along the same kind of path. Okay? Sex is, is one of the biggest outflows. So, say, you know, if a person tries, tries to say, keep a pure U.S. state, yeah. the but he lives, he or she lives in a society with that the ghost gets envy of the person. Ghost what? Like the ghost with the like, because if you if the person keeps the pure use you stay then, then when the person functions in society, he or she will automatically be different. So yes, yeah. yeah. Then they will be more so trying saying. to get the person. Right? Yes. You're a target. Yeah. You 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 a big target. <laughs> for 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 uh, ghosts, also for cougars, for oh. you know. <laughs> <laughs> So it, it, it's very hard to stay pure youth. Very 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 hard. You need a lot of help, a lot of protection. Yeah. Because because. The temptation comes in so many forms. Okay? Remember, when you're normal people, we are attached to feeling good. Okay? And sexual intercourse is one of the, one of the most powerful way of feeling good. It's, it's, it's the secret of our cultivation. If you can let go of that attachment, you discover something even more worthwhile, much bigger, much more interesting. Mm. You say that's in the other times of the sutra, that's the biggest um, obstruction to getting off the wheel, the sexual uh, desire. That's how we wire it. But that's it, that's the, that's the major obstruction. If there was two things like sexual desire, nobody would become, you know, wake up. In the uh, Sutra 42 section, he said that um, the, the Buddha explains that the sexual desire is the number one obstruction to to us attaining sexual. Alright? And, and if there were another type of Attachment comparable to sexual desire would would never be. No one would make it. No one. Okay, including Buddhists <laughs> and Bodhisattvas. Yeah. Is that bad? Is that powerful? Okay, I believe it. On the other hand, on the other hand, because. You realize, you see, the, the Buddhist message is so, it's, it's always double-sided. You can choose to listen to that and say, oh, you're nuts. Okay, forget it. I like sex. I like sexual desire because, because that's life. You're crazy for you to reject it. Or you can, yeah, that's one option. Or you can say, oh, it is that difficult and why bother cultivate? Okay? Forget it. I'm not going to cultivate. Because, for what? 
What have you got? Nothing. You've nothing to show. Cultivation. Right? How can you sell cultivation? Can you put it in terms of dollar amounts? Houses? Cars? Fame? Groupies? Much more than that. Hmm? But people don't understand it. It's a hard sell. Very hard sell. So people say, ah, oh, forget it. I don't call to you because it's nothing in there for me. Okay. I can see that entices me to call to you. Number three, you can say, you say, aha. Aha. The line response is, aha. You have this the one of aha moments. Okay. And you say, wow. If it is, if it is that difficult to overcome, what does it mean? It is, it harm, it, it stores a tr- tremendous amount of energy, right? And you can use that to go the wrong way or the right way. I use it to go the right way. That's how I succeed. You got it? See the secret? That's the Buddha's, that's the Buddha's secret message. He says, it's so overwhelmingly powerful of an enemy against your cultivation. Right? And the smart one says, let me use it towards cultivation. Let me, let me, let me funnel that energy into cultivation. And that's why you get all the power. Instead of wasting it. And that's Mahayana wisdom. Yeah. And that's the pure youth wisdom, by the way. He says, I'm not going to have, I'm going to waste it. I'm going to funnel all this energy instead of wasting it through sexual intercourse, sexual pleasure. Oh no. I'm going to plant the, 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 the hole and use it for cultivation. That's why I get that's okay. Questions, comments? So, sentient beings, going back to slide number 59, sentient beings uh, are replete with six organs, and the six organs are the six emotional roots because they constantly are activated and cannot be restrained. They, can, they are constantly activated. Our sense organs are constantly activated and cannot be restrained because we indulge our sense. We reserve the right to indulge ourselves. So we allow ourselves to be constantly agitated. We relinquish control, self-control. Then, in uh, in terms of uh, of uh, of, uh, of um, more specific, more and more specific, probably the emotional roots or the six organs. Are, act, are connected with something called consciousness. Okay? Basically, you have your sense organs. That's how we made. That's what we endowed with. And also, internally, we have those sense organs. Externally, we have externals, like the sound, like the smell, okay? Like, like fragrance, like form you can see. Okay, like food you can taste. Okay, those are called dust or external objects. It's called dust because they defy our sense organs. You know that Buddhism is very, very, very ingenious. They call dust because 
they make us filthy, make our sense organs filthy. So between the externals and the sense organs, something called consciousness. There's a bridge that connects the dust and enables the dust to defile our sense organs. Okay, so that thing is called consciousness. And basically, we have we have eight different types of consciousness. The first five, okay, you need to understand these basic concepts about about uh, about uh, uh, these basic uh, technical uh, technical uh, jargon. The first five consciousness are the seeing consciousness of are your are your sense organs. This, you, the eyes can see, so it's called eye consciousness. Okay. You, your ears can hear, being the hearing consciousness. Okay, the ear consciousness. Your nose can smell. Okay, the so is the smell consciousness, right? And then your tongue can, can taste. So it's a tongue consciousness, the taste consciousness. And then your body can touch. Okay, so it's a touching consciousness. That's what you are aware of through your sense organs. Okay? Without these consciousnesses, you, you have no bridge between, you have no contact with the external, the external world. So far so good? So all the five, the five sense organs create the first, the first five consciousnesses. And then the sixth sense organ, which is the mind, creates the fifth one, the sixth one called the sixth consciousness, which is the mind. The mind attaches to dharma or external. Dharma is like everything out there. Okay? Dharma, by, by definition, is anything that the mind thinks of is called a dharma. So far so good? So the mind is the one is the mind the, is 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 more commonly uh, is known as the sixth consciousness is a guy who who does a mental processing. So far so good. The first five consciousness are basically basically are in charge of responsible for data gathering. This the the, the, the smell consciousness all he does is it says it says wait a minute this is. It smells like, let me check my database, oh, it smells like incense. Okay? So it's responsible for that. It's responsible for, for recognizing, for, 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 for linking these, the nose with these, the, uh, external and, and, and bridge that gap. Okay? So it can recognize smells. Okay? But it is the mind that does the association. Okay? So the mind does the recognition. It says, okay, I know there's some kind of smell here, but let me see. Ah, I see incense. So it's the function of the sixth consciousness. So far, so good. So the first five consciousnesses are basically stupid. They're basically data mining. And then the sixth consciousness is the guy that, that collates them and makes sense out of them and does the recognition. It's also the guy who does the discrimination. <laughs> so far so good? It's very important for you to understand this, this, this consciousness because that's how we operate. This is our operating system. This is our Windows. This is our Mac OS. So far, so good. The seventh one, the seventh consciousness is called mana consciousness or called more commonly called as the defiled consciousness or the self, the ego. Now, he is a bad dude. Yeah. She is a bad dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what the trouble is. That's what all the trouble is. 
because beyond the seventh consciousness is something called the eighth consciousness we talk about briefly this morning. That is the store of consciousness. That is like our heart drive. Man, everything. Everything that we ever did in the past is the store right there. You never lose anything. The heart drive never crashes the end. Never ever crashed. Mm-hmm. Never got burns out of capacity. This is this is this is the coolest human technology that you can that you conceive of in terms of, of heart drive designs. Yeah. SSD. SSD. Beyond SSD. <laughs> Beyond SSD. Okay. Self-sustained human technology comes nowhere close. Okay? <laughs> so I like that. The eighth consciousness is a guy that's unending. Infinite. He stores all everything <coughs> that ever happened. That it goes goes throughout. All the karma you create a store in the eighth consciousness. That's why it's called the store of consciousness. Okay? A very important for you to understand these eighth consciousness. The eighth con- the eight different cons- consciousnesses because because they're fundamental block of knowledge. Okay? So, so far you have the first six, the eighth, then the seventh. <coughs> the first five actually goes through number six. Okay, got that? Number four, the first five needs to go through six to do processing, to do recognition. And six then works with, with number eight through seven. So far so good? Because if number six, the conscious mind says, hmm, let me see, let me see, is that, is that like incense, or is it shamyamu thai, or is it poison, or is it, it has to do what? Do a search. Right? It has to go and retrieve information from storage, which is the eighth consciousness. So far so good? That's when the sixth consciousness does a retrieve. It says, search. Let's search a hard drive. Okay, let's search our memory banks. So far so good. So it does an access of the eighth consciousness. And then who does the processing? Number seven is the guy. He is the intermediary. He says, okay, fine. Six, you do your processing. Eight has a storage. But number seven is the guy who does the the bus, the wiring. So far so good. That's how we function. Only problem is that hmm. number seven is more than simply the bus. Hmm. It also it also distorts. <laughs> it massages it. It has, this is why we call ego. Ego says, I don't like this. I prefer the other one. I like the good ones. I don't like the bad ones. That's the seventh function. It's a discriminating mind. No, 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 it defiles it. Basically, well, basically, 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 it is an unpleasant experience. Or it is a pleasant experience. But the seventh says, I don't like it. It's not yeah. it's I not, don't like it. It's modifying it. it it's stored it. It says, or it says, it says basically like it hurts. The legs hurt so much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then and then, but then, the, but then it said, but then the six says, uh, women, am I getting hurt? Am I getting hurt? I'm going to break my leg here. So he, so he goes to the eighth consciousness. It says, let me try to retrieve some data, right? Right? You see, let me check my, my hard drive and my, my memory bank and see if I am in any kind of trouble. Right? Because that's I, that's why I accrue all these data for. I can use in the future. So you access it, you bring it back, and what the, what does seven do? They would say, you know, you know, this data is not accurate. Uh, I think I, I forgot one bit here. So, you know, so basically, it distorts the, the data as being retrieved. It adds more and then massage things that there's no way the six knows. Only seven does it automatically. 
Okay? Give you an example. Okay? Real, 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 real time now. Yes? Is that how those uh, psychic readers, they re read all the information that sometimes is inaccurate because they're egos? Okay. I, uh, let, I, 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 let, let me put on a little moment. Okay. Okay. Give an example to illustrate to you why seventh consciousness is a big troublemaker. Because, for example, okay, for example, same guy, okay, you look at a person, okay, and basically, basically, it's the same person, it's the seventh that says, I prefer, I prefer the coming from text, I rather not it come from, from, from Freud. That's seven. Same exact information. Okay. Say you come and offer me a piece of stick of incense. I said, I don't like her. Let me let this guy does better. It's the same stick of incense, same kind of offering incense. Okay. It distorts things. It, it, it adds judgment. It adds value to it. It places tasks on top of the actual facts. For example, I keep hearing a guy who says, uh, woman says, uh, oh, you, you've been telling us about, uh, about uh, how these monks and nuns uh, behave and, and really destroys my image of my ideals of, of a left home person. <laughs> 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 what is that? 714. So, so you're you passing judgment. tasks, you're passing judgment, you're adding data on top of the facts. So oh, that's what judgment is. Then. Yes. Yes. Right. That's, that's a very important point. Yes. The people are always talking about judgment. Because that's illegal. illegal. Right. So that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. In passing judgment. Right. So the appeal youth, how is that? Uh, it's saving conscience. Is that really developed or is that still? Uh, it is developed. It's not as proficient. It's not as good as Danny's, for example. Nanny seven is so 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 advanced that it doesn't take you know it, because the seven gets more adapted with use. It gets devious. The more data, the more you use it, it, it the better it becomes. The more imperceptible it becomes, the more difficult it is for you to pin it down. Mm -hmm. And how yes. how did we develop it? Because we say with the life experience, with uh, the stuff that we developed, the seventh. Because 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 we we uh, we uh, we uh, value because we, we because we we value judgment. No. And it's hindering us. And it's hindering us. Yeah. It's confusion. Yeah. yeah. It's confusion. And no such thing as good judgment. Right? Yes. You have good judgment or bad judgment. If it right. does not distort, it does not distort the facts. Then that's good judgment. That's good judgment. Right. It's just the one when we distort it on the fly, so fast, it's right. as if we take it as facts. Yeah. That's so easy to do. No. You constantly do that. Yeah. So we increase the, the, the seven by using more of them. Yeah. But so we are born. Good question. We are born with the seven. Yeah. So so how, how do you, what you're getting at is how, how do we counteract it? Right. So how do you do that? Cross the legs, try to control it. <laughs> Put it down. Samadhi power, yes. What, what else? You stop using the six. That's hard. Start using the six. When you've got the six, you start with the six. Long time. Stop your mind. You can, that's right. Okay. It's the yeah. guy who, who who said, let me go get, let me, let me access it. That's why the seven is activated. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You see that? If yes. you don't use the six, the seven is If you activated. say, if you stop discriminating, you say, yeah. You stop constantly discriminating between good and bad, good and evil, desirable, undesirable, 
great, small, okay? Because that's what, when you do that, you actually do passive, you do retrieval. And that's when servant gets, gets going. And you go back to your bad habits. Okay? So actually you're, you're activating those seeds. So when you stop the six, you minimize the six functioning, okay? Then the seventh has no fuel. It has no cause to be activated. And the point of doing that is what? You get to the eighth to get something. Clarity of mind. Okay. You, you get in touch with the truth. Okay. Not, not confusion. So it's all, uh, clarity is almost like accessing the aid without the filtering. Without the filter, without the distortion. Because the data is true by itself. You don't need to distort it. It's the seven that keeps on distorting and adding tags, adding judgment, subtracting and, and massaging it. So when the time gets back to the six, what we get, the data, is no longer accurate. And we don't know. We, we can't tell. Right? We cannot tell whether it comes from true from the eighth, undistorted, or the seventh already distorted it. We don't know. Because the seventh is that good. So where the wisdom comes in? Wisdom comes in the fact that six no longer functions, therefore seven dies. Seven stops. That's the ego stops and dies. And and the knowledge, the data you get is true. And there's, you don't need the six to get there. You see, we, <laughs> we are confused in thinking that we need, we need to depend on our conscious mind, our thinking mind. We don't. There's something called better than the six mind. What is it called? Who knows? You all know that. You all know it already. You know what is? What? What is better than the six? The Buddha nature. Okay. Which is the eighth. No, eighth is confusion. Right. Eighth is, is confusion. confusion. When you turn eighth into the great mirror wisdom, okay, it becomes wisdom when you come forth it. Basically, your Buddha nature knows already. Okay? It just that it doesn't have a chance. It's the six and the seven that keeps on restoring everything. It's one layer on top of whatever you know already. And the six and seizes it and, say, and intercepts it and says, Hey, I got it, trust me. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. And you believe it. That's how we function. So the knowledge, is that in, is, is that in the six or is that in the seven? Six. Six. Yeah, there's recognition. Confirmation. Okay? But but ultimately the eighth consciousness is the basis of all the others. Yes. So if you stop the six, does the pain go away? You stop the six, does it go away? Yes. Yes. Because we are cutting the sensorial that goes in. Yeah. We're shutting it out. It, it goes in, but it doesn't, the uh, six is not acting on it, so we don't yeah. feel it. Well, on the other hand, on the other hand, look, look at it this way. Okay. If I were, let's say, to teach you how to shut it off, Okay. What are we? What am I teaching you? The easy way out. The easy way out. What is the easy way out? Avoiding. Hmm? Avoidance. Avoidance. Right. I'm teaching you to be with it. I know you don't mind being with in this case. <laughs> 
So why do you have to be so hard, huh? Huh, master? <laughs> why do you ask so much of us? Because you pay back the debts. You zap it. Okay? And it serves to do a good person. You do it long enough, and then you all come and That's wisdom. Because? Because? Why? Because it's his fault. Mahayana will be all false is something that has no self nature, meaning that it depends on conditions for its existence. Without conditions, it does not exist. Meaning, what conditions? Your body. Because you are feeling pain, you're rejecting it because you are very attached to your body. Therefore, it's true for you. If you say, what body? It's gone, I don't know about that. Right. The because, because you did not do what I just said. When you say, what body, you don't believe it. You only repeated my words, but you do not believe it. That's why it's still there. That's interesting. Janice, you believe me? It's gone right away. See? doesn't believe me. Yes, you're on camera. I'm telling you. Oh, this thing is so nice. Yes. This is so nice. And sometimes it's like there's a force that prevents you from believing. Because, because you don't believe yet. Because you said, what you say, I may, you may know what you're talking about. I give you that. But I have a hard time believing that. (laughs) <laughs> it's two, two different things. You may know about it, but I don't believe it. Not because you say it, because deep down, you don't believe it. Mm-hmm. See, that's a real right. test, my dear. This is right. You really believe me? <laughs> believe me? This is right. Then it goes away, right? You, know? you don't you believe me? You know? No matter what you tell me, mm-hmm. it's still there. So Master, didn't you say the pain is always there? It's up to your mind to judge, to understand, if, to, to believe is that a pain or not to be a pain. It's up for you man, to, to interpret. For me, uh, to me I, 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 I figure out a way to, 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 to opt out of the pain, but I don't use it. Long, long time ago. Oh, I'm waiting for you. Oh, I was much lower than any of you. Okay? And I figured out a way to, to, to turn it on, turn it off. I never use it. Why? Because I'm stupid. But, but see, that, that's the, the real test, Janice. You, you, this, this is why you, you, can't, you can't fake it. If you really believe it, it goes away. I do believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, give me I'd like to really believe it, but I can't. <laughs> she, really, she really believes it, but the ladies don't believe it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I believe it, but they don't, they don't behave. <laughs> they don't behave. <laughs> I believe all you're yeah. saying, but yeah. I didn't mind up in Why am I doing this? They're like kids, you know. They don't because know he's actually, you understand what I mean. Right now, right now, it's too real for him. It's just like, just like, just like, this is blood. Come on, this is real. Okay? You don't believe it. But eventually, someday you will see. Right? It's not real. What is not real is meant by the fact that it's not, does not exist by itself. In other words, it's all created by ourselves. It's something else underneath it yeah. that creates it. We're creating it all. I believe that. Okay? But it's more than believing it. It actually has to. You, we have to experience it and know it, and then that's the real belief. We have to transcend mm-hmm. our words. Yes. It's the same thing. What we're talking about, same exact thing. If you believe it, you're there. Mm-hmm. You, you, the closer you are to it, 
的某个例子，你理解吗？就这样。Okay, it's not talking. It's doing it, and then keep on thinking about it, doing it, doing it, and then he says, "Ah, ah, that's it, that's it." It's not something you can intellectually reason or deduce. Something you have to do. Okay, so far so good. Any questions? Okay. So, yes. Now, some of your light, if your light starts flashing before your eyes. Yes. In the, you know, in the case of you're about to die. Yes. Is, which has happened to me a couple of times. I didn't die, but I was about to. Yes. My light flashed before my eyes. Yes. Know? So that's like accessing the eighth consciousness. Yes. Right. Okay. It's, I mean, just, it's just like like it flashes so fast. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like seeing a movie that that a uh, two-hour movie in like. Ten seconds, right? Yeah, just very quick, but not that fast. But it was fast enough. That, that's then, how fast your mind. Yeah. That's how fast your six consciousness is. Yeah. That's what you were capable of, of, of doing. That's real. That's it's not imagination. Right. That's how fast we are. You see why I told you earlier this morning that I could read do this in the mantra very fast, even faster than I, I can move my my fingers, because our mind is that fast. That's true. That is. I say that, but you don't believe me, do you? That's what I say. Yes. So, anyway, retrieval. I uh, give me. I know. I hopefully will like a side skirt issue a little about your question, but basically, there are those people who can do harm readers or these externalists who 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 are uh, some some spiritual powers. Okay, they can know by your past and so on. Basically, yeah, they're able to access the eighth consciousness. There's a ghost. Some of them use ghosts that, that can access your eighth consciousness. And they tell. Really? That's what they do. Not, not spirits, but ghosts. Yeah, ghost spirits. Are okay. Spirits are the good guys. Ghosts are the bad guys. Okay. Same thing. Same difference. You see, you see. Let's talk about the real stuff, the real life stuff, like the leg pains. Okay. If I tell you, I tell you the the the, the illustrated fact about knowledge versus faith. Okay. If I tell you right now that the leg pains is not true, it's not true. You don't believe. Me. But you, I know you don't believe me because it still hurts like crazy. So what do you do? If you really don't believe me, you stop. You have to cross your legs. Right? But if you had believe me a little bit, what do you do? You cross a little bit longer. Right? You know, little and then you longer. cross a little bit longer the next day. You know, and then a little bit longer the next day. Guess what happens? Eventually, you overcome it. Right? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it might take a few, a few decades, but <laughs> yeah, it's gonna say another day or two. <laughs> but and then and then what? And then you begin to see. Wait a minute, it's real. And your perspective starts to change. It you improves. You're more you begin, clear. You begin to clear your head, mm-hmm. and you know, all the things happen. That's when faith becomes strong. Mm-hmm. And six and seven is not as strong. That's right. Then you believe. <laughs> you begin to say, ah, ah, maybe it does have, maybe it does have, it does have some, 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 some credibility here. But you have to do it. You cannot talk about it. You cannot do it all at once. You have to do it one bit at a time. This is how I approach it. Master Shen Hua never explained it in that one. He said, he just is bad. Come on, don't be a wimp. <laughs> That's how I felt. I know you guys are wimps. Therefore, I say, please bear for, for a few more seconds, a few more minutes each time. That's all you You can train yourself. That's how I train my, myself. Okay? I, I know you're going to jump on me again. He's <laughs> <laughs> no fun. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you fix it, Mark. Just ask the question in French. 
<laughs> okay. And no, he's feeling the same. Then, so, then, then when he gives you the answer, then you cannot be embarrassed. No, no problem. <laughs> so, so by crossing the leg and deal with the pain, it's also one way to kind of decrease the, your sixth consciousness. Kind of, I don't know. Is it controlling? Yeah. But yeah, my reading. He says. He says. This is not desirable. <laughs> oh my god! I don't want this. So dealing with the pain really is dealing with your six and seven. The six says you were doing just fine five okay. minutes ago. Cool. Now all of a sudden it hurts so much. I don't want this. Seven jumps in. I don't want this. I don't want this. Are you sure you want this? The <laughs> 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 six says. Um, I'm not sure, let me check it. And the seven, you see, you see, it brings back these new more distorted distortions. <laughs> you see, see how stupid you are? What does he know? Right? I think this was no more. On the wheel. And it starts with number six, it says, I was fine a while ago! <laughs> now it's not fine anymore. You see how it works? Is it gentle enough? <laughs> <laughs> okay, any other questions? So basically, basically those uh, the externals, they do have some skills. And basically, it's, it's uh, not necessarily from their own, but usually the ghosts, they have those spiritual skills. And ghosts and spirits, they actually come in you and possess you and then Access your 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 hard drive, just like the hackers, and then you pull it out, and then and then they, they impress you, they give you the bits and pieces of what they can find. That's it, and that they know what they're talking about. You do not discount them. Don't want to discount them or, or think of them as as a baloney. Then they do have skills. Oh, so that's why because those ghosts sometimes when you go into some you don't feel comfortable depending on 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 the reader. Sometimes you go you do feel weird. They're icky. They're icky. They're icky. because they they have to deal with the the, the, the bad ghosts. They're, they're not fun to deal. With. Okay. Anyone else? I would like to just say that I think the more you bear it, is think of a way as you're training your body to resist more tolerate to pain. The longer you see it, you will be more adept. So the, the next pain or the previous pain will become not as much as what you think it is. That is the way to control the six, right? Yeah, I think it's more of a training. You just keep sitting and to a point, the, pre, the pain you're feeling and the pain before you will start to minimize the whatever you, the first pain you ever felt is so painful and then Moving on, you say, hey, it's not as painful as before, so you can sit a little bit longer. Yeah. And then you compare again, hey, it's not as much, and you sit a little bit even longer. If you do that, then you have a chance to understand the teaching. That's only the first step. The second step, you have to listen to lecture, listen to my explanations, so that you're able to let go of your prejudices. You see? You have, you have that. That's where, that, that's where, that's where it's important. That, that's why the lectures are very important. This is what the the kung fu people don't have. The martial artists don't have. The, the tai chi people, the chi kung people don't have. Okay. They develop the samadhi power, but they don't have the understanding. So it's an imbalance of the approach in cultivation. Okay, any other questions? Yes, please correct. Uh, the, my, my friend, before she left, she asked me, so what's uh, cultivation? <laughs> cultivation? Uh-huh. Um, we, we just have nothing else to do. <laughs> oh, no. I, I think that's a, a topic that's hard to explain. If you don't really explain experience it, it's hard to explain what is cultivation. It's whole the, it's a whole lifestyle. I mean, you know, you cannot explain it. But Jimmy, but Jimmy, what else are you gonna do? 
I. Why not? It's more important. But you know what? Well, you think it's, I'm being be facetious? No, I'm not. I'm giving you my personal opinion. Nothing else better to do. Master, with lay people that haven't really gotten into it, if you just tell them that they were, you feel better, you feel more relaxed, you feel it's just a better. But and people will do it for just to do that because some people are not so, always. Well, not always. they won't do it anyway. But if they no. want to do something, because like, they need to see the the end word. Mm. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't reason. You have to see them. Yeah. You have no need to get caught. You can't play. Because it's way too demanding. In other words, let me put it this way. Depending on your need, I can teach you method of cultivation to help you get to that need. Okay? And you can stop. There's nothing wrong with it. That's why, in other words, Mahayana is very important to determine your need level. Because at all levels, we have different types of different dharmas to teach you. You want to be the gods, I teach you the dharma to be the gods. You want to be an arhat, I teach you to have a dharma, I teach you to be an arhat. You have a, you worry about your health, and you have dharma to help you deal with your health concerns. Okay? So all your needs, we have answers, we have solutions. It's up to you to decide what to do. No one's going to force it down your throat. Okay? But when you ask me, why do I call today? I say, I have nothing else better to do. I don't see anything else that turns me on as much as it's called today. That includes stars, that includes house, that includes women, that includes boys, that includes men, that includes men. Not that I'm not, you know, not that I'm, 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 I'm uh, don't think they're important. I'm just saying they're not as important. That's all I'm saying. I'm not refuting your existence. I'm not minimizing the significance of your existence. I'm just saying personally, I went through that half of my life. And I said, eh, nothing we get excited about. This is more fun. When you get to be older, okay. and one of you, some of you might, might reach a stage is pretty soon. <laughs> um, you look for <laughs> meaning in life. You need to look for, why did I come here? What am I here for? What am I leaving behind? Okay? Was, has it been worth it? Some point in time, you have you have to face that. I faced that, and I said, "No, my life wasn't worth it. I was ashamed of my own life. I was just my own selfish and 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 and, and self-serving existence." So I, I tried something else, like this lifestyle, thinking just like you, I have my personal agenda. I only wanted to learn about trying. Never mind, bro. Enlightenment. <laughs> Forget it, okay? Enlightenment. Yeah, right. Well, I only wanted to learn about meditation. That's all I wanted. Okay. So I had my personal agenda, and I learned. I learned. That the more I, the closer I get, the more I find it. It's uh, so so much more behind. It. I got more curious and more curious every day. It hasn't stopped. Because, because just like you, I need to justify my existence. Is it worth it? Is it worth my time? Is it worth my blood? Is it worth my sweat? Is it worth worth it? And, and I find I have nothing else more interesting to do than this. I'm not sure you can give the answer to your friend, but <laughs> because she asked me the wrong question.
she, she, I think I put probably, she probably meant that uh, why should we, she call today? That's a different question altogether. But when you say, you say, why do you call today? And you have nothing else better to do. No, she, 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 she asked for the definition. What is cultivation? <laughs> <laughs> for whom? I gave it to from my perspective. You have to understand, when you ask a, a loose question like that, okay, I have the option, because I'm not trying to sell her anything. Because if you, you say, what is cultivation? I say, you should cultivate because of so what am I doing? I'm forcing it down the throat. Why should I? You call to me because you want to, not because I want you to. You call to me because because you get a lot more out of it for yourself. Okay. The intellectual answer is that get to the truth. And it's not what you think it is. That truth is not what you think it is. You can be doing research until you die. Or many more lifetimes you will not get to. It's not the way it is. You think it should be. You think it is. Okay, so how long can you sit? Not for now. Half, half, half load this. Come on, you can do that. You can be such a win. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> half lotus, half lotus. Is there another half lotus? Yeah, like this? Yeah. We can't sit like this very long at all. Who cares? <laughs> See, it's a six going again. I was fine until you asked me to sit in half lotus. <laughs> Raise the bell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I still like my six now. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. That's how you get most out of it. Sit there and there. Until you can't take it anymore. And you better live it longer. That's why it's important for you to get a timer. Because you can't trust that center. You say, Oh, I'm going to half an hour already! <laughs> <laughs> right? So you need to take a timer. No. It goes off and then you know what you <laughs> so you don't think about it. Even if you think about it, you ignore it. Right. That's why you, you, you and the third party be partial and truthful like a tiger. Okay, any other questions? <laughs> yes? No? That's it? No, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you asked the question. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all, we're going to the next slide. <laughs> okay. Yeah, question. Fire away. Mm, it seems like uh, there are more issues that, uh, with my parents nowadays. So, is that related to, say, I'm thinking of cultivating, or is this part of What kind of issues? Can you be specific? What kind of problems? I experience Okay. So, for example, my mom, like, now, like, uh, I think you know, she said she might have, like, a bone stir on her back or something. Yeah. Sometimes it hurts that like, she couldn't like, right. eat that well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So for, yeah. Okay. And, uh, my dad is continuing his trading lifestyle. Yeah. I'm losing it, not his hurt. So... 
Okay, so, <laughs> so, so it's not working out. Right? Yeah, now we can ask. Yeah, so it's just, and then the sister is gone now. The sister is gone. Yeah, and the sister is gone too. So no one's returned to just because you were aloof most of the time. Right? So, you have your own world. <laughs> so? So, so what's the problem? Which is less normal for them. Okay. Yeah, but then I, 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 I see this kind of lifestyle, it just keeps going on like this. Wow, it's going to fall apart and suck. Okay. <laughs> it increased my they have, they have, They have to get worse before they have to face it. Okay. You see that? Because they're not going to change. They're not going to change. Until they must. I don't know if it makes sense to you or not. In Taoism, they're saying that things that have to go to extremes, the pendulum has to go to the extreme until it changes direction. Before that, it will not change direction. So if you try to stop the momentum, you can't. You know, for Okay? They committed to all those things that they, they, they feel are important. Until something happens that forces them to change the course, they will not. So, for example, you you have children, and you say, "Oh, let me shield my children from all the bad things that happen to them." They never will. They never change. They never adjust. So, all you do as parents is that you 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 are there for them, and then you watch it happen. And you make sure you around to give advice. Okay. That's all you can do. You cannot change the course. Right. They have to do what they must do first before they listen. As adults. That's that's what happened to us last uh, last weekend. We we finally say, well, you you will do whatever you want to do. We not gonna be. Whatever he, so he did, uh, he has been saying that he wants to go to the medic, uh, the army, uh, the marine medic, the fine. It's up to you now. Now he switched to medic now? Yeah. So at it's, least it's, it's a step down. He's not a recon anymore. <laughs> but he still wants to do medic in Iraq. Uh, in the medic, but because the marine doesn't have the medic, so he, he has to join the navy medic. And then get assigned to a marine unit. <laughs> Alright. All right. I think the Navy didn't call corpsmen. You have to be corpsmen first. Yeah. Right. Right. It's a hard one. So you have to be corpsmen in the Navy. Right. So right. It's, 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 it's a medic for Marines. So I mean. So he will be sent to Iraq anyway. Bottom line. Or, or Afghanistan, I mean. Afghanistan. Okay, yeah, uh-huh. Because. Because. Because that's what he has to do. Yeah, and he has been so uh, last last okay. Sunday we say okay. I mean, so why is he leaving? Well, now then then he's uh, he's going uh, he's using us, but he has not do anything. So now he has to talk to the recruiter. He has no plan either. So when we ask well, what 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 uh, what what you gonna do now to join? Well, I don't know yet. So it's just so it's a, exactly like okay, fine, do it. Then that's when it starts him going and thinking about it, and maybe he changes his mind. I don't know, but he has to go. He's using us to not to do anything, and not to do anything. You see, you see, the, 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 the thing, the thing is that is that is that. 
is that sometimes being supportive means it's very hard because you need to sit there and watch. Yes, okay. it's very hard to, to sit there and watch them hurt themselves, get into trouble. But you have to allow them to happen before they learn, before they, they adjust. Okay? That's wisdom right there, folks, because when you do that, you're giving you a chance to help them down the road. Not that. Now they're not, they're not willing to listen. So, if you talk right now, you try to talk them out of it, they simply are saying, eh, what to see in the future. It's just increasing. They will shut you out in the future. It's just increasing the but see, you, you also feel better because you let go. You know, like I mean, you, you, you did your, what you could, and you said, you know, whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen. And then you just try to do your best. Before, to try to control it. It's really suffering. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's suffering. It's big. You just all we can do, all yeah. we can do is help them the best way we can, give it our best, and then we drop it. Have I done my best? Have I done, have, have, have I done Everything I could have done. If you've done that, that's it. That's all you can do. Because they have to go through the resolutions. Yeah. Without this, you know, or this assembly, and your talk last weekend, you know, on Sunday about do the best we can, mm-hmm. and then also you talk about the blessing that you know, uh, it just, you just right, right moment. Mm-hmm. So when he talked to my, my wife on Sunday, she let go. Mm-hmm. That's all. I mean, you know, the 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 the, the good and the bad. They, they all have they all have flip sides. Yeah. Okay. So the point here is that we have to be content with that. We we gave it our our best, our all. Okay. We tried our best. Whatever happens. Is not because we did not try. Whatever happened is what they had to go through to learn. Okay? It's out of your control. Not, yeah, it's, it's out of anyone's control. 